So you like flares, and sometimes the flares look good and you get stares. But I'm not talking about flares like, you know, you use and you light them and then you throw them. Like, you know how... Not those kind of flares. The other kind... Let me explain. Hey guys, one bad touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Take a look at some cool flares that you can make. Really, really super easy. And I came up with this actually on action. You know, it's one of those beautiful things where you do it by action. You're like, that's what I'm doing today. So... My friends, let's get started real quick. It's so easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and delete default cube. I'm so sorry. We're going to hit Shift A to add in a mesh plane. And then we're going to go ahead and hit S to scale up our plane. And then we're going to grab this little lamp here. Hit Alt G and Alt R to clear rotation and location. Now, my friends, if we go ahead and select our camera, and do the same thing. Alt G, Alt R to clear rotation and location. Uh, then we can go ahead and hit R, X. 90 on my numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis then gy to move the camera back behind the plane there i'm gonna go ahead and hit uh gy some more move it back a little bit more um now so in theory you really only need this to be scaled this way because it's gonna work properly this way sort of but i'll show you what it looks like um like this first because i haven't actually tested it with it being really thin like this so i, I guess we'll see um all right so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, zero on my numpad to go into the camera's view. And now with our with our plane selected, I'm going to hit B to box select our camera and our lamp. So they're both selected now. I'm going to hit zero on my numpad to go back into the camera's view. If we go to rendered viewport shading, rendered viewport shading, and I'm going to go to the world tab and turn the color to solid black. If I double tap R to rotate this plane, you, you can see that we can see a little bit of a, of a like a little flary kind of thing on the plane because it's shining on the plane right now so if i rotate the plane which is what i'm doing if i rotate the plane you can see it's just a lamp shining on a plane but if i just rotate it just slightly just like this or something let's go ahead and actually turn my overlays off um if i hold down shift and hit uh double tap r and then hold down shift i can move it very slightly like this move, move it very slow instead of like this so if i don't hold down shift this is what it looks like if i hold down shift then it moves like this, which is very nice. So I can go ahead and just get about right there and then just hold down shift, just scale it down just a little bit. Just, I'm sorry, rotate it down just a little bit. So now you can see what I'm talking about here. So now we have this nice little flare, which is just the coolest thing. So if I go ahead and go to the lamp uh, and then go to the lamp tab here, change the power to something insane like 100,000, maybe not that high. Uh, we'll do 10,000 instead. And I'll change the color to a bluish color, which just looks awesome. And I'll, I'll push this even, even further by going ahead and going to the bloom settings. Turn bloom on right there. Um, and I think I'm going to put this back. I did test this on 100,000, so let's do that. Yeah, 100,000 is, is, is key right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the plane. And I can actually scale this down by hitting S, X, and scale this on the X axis to kind of get the edges in frame. But you can see uh, when I do this, oh, let me just go ahead and hit S, Y as well. When I do this, we have to make sure this isn't the right angle. That's the thing. That's the key with this. So let me hit B to box select, just rotate this again. Uh, make sure it's all nice and good. Right about there, maybe hit S to S Y S X. Sorry to scale this up. Double tap R, shift, and we'll do something like something like that, maybe. Rotate it a little bit. Double tap R, shift. Um, and you can see how this is this this works pretty well, actually. So if I had like a little a little thing. If you had G to move it, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to situate it again because, like I said, it's all about the angle with this. So, there we go. Um, all right. So, this looks good, but the edges don't really taper that much. So, something else we can do is actually model it ourselves. Um, I think this looks fine the way that it is. I really do. But let's go ahead and really quickly let's model this. Um, just grab a plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the solid viewport shading. Um, hit S. A, uh, hit S, uh, shift A to add in a plane, and then RX90 on my numpad. We'll go ahead and hit SX to scale this on the x-axis. Hit Tab to go into edit mode. Turn my uh, overlays back on. And then we're going to add in a couple loop cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here, drag this on open, and go to Tool. Change the number of cuts to 11, something uneven. So there's one in the middle. Um, all right, so now uh, going back to the little select box thing up here. We'll go ahead and select the two most outer uh, vertices by holding down uh, shift so we we have all those now I'm gonna hit O to turn on proportional editing hit this little button up here you can do that too uh, I'm gonna change this from this little smooth hump to uh, sharp and then hit S X and then just scroll your mouse wheel up just a little bit something like that 
and I'm actually going to go ahead and put that back on smooth. Um, there we go. So we have a little bit of that now, and I'm going to bump it up even more to, to sphere, and then just a little bit more of that. And I'm going to select these four vertices right here, turn off proportion editing by hitting O, or just hitting that button, hitting shift, I'm oh, sorry, uh, S, Z, rather. And I'll just kind of curve this just a little bit like this so it's not too sharp and crazy. I'm going to grab those four and push them down just so they're a little bit more thin. So now we have something like this. Too thick, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and hit S, X, S, Z, sorry, and uh, just scale it down like that, which is nice. I can go ahead and grab this same lamp, hit Alt G to move the uh, location back to default, then hit uh, Shift, I'm uh, sorry, hit B to box select, and then S, Z to scale it down a little bit more, render viewport shading. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this plane up here for the time being, and we can just kind of rotate this one as well, which looks nice. So you can do it this way too. This is obviously more steps. Uh, just double tap R, rotate, of course, R, Y, R, X, you know, uh, just a few more steps, nothing too big of a deal here, but you can see that these work really, really well, and I like on this one, it does have the tapering, which looks much better, so if you do want that tapering, make sure you do that, because it does look uh, much cooler, especially in my opinion, we can turn the threshold down a little bit, actually, to knee up, the radius can go up a lot, and the intensity can go up too, color we can change that as well but yeah so that's gonna be it for our lens flares i just thought this was the coolest thing if you add some text in real quick rx90 we'll just type in flare uh, and use that gorgeous default font that everyone just loves because it's such the best font i've ever seen um <laughs> just, we'll uh we'll go ahead and what's it doing oh yeah extrude we'll extrude it a little bit just a little bit and put a little bit of offset on there just so it's not that bad make it thinner all right there we go Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now I'll select this, hit B, box select, just move it on down, rotate it, and now we got that little flare on there, which looks so cool, guys. So, I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Something else you can do real quick. I want to select this plane, and we can actually go ahead, and we might be able to get away with doing an emission uh, on this plane. You might, It might not look the best because you can see it fade out, but I'm going to go ahead and just... I drop a blue color. Maybe I won't do that. I'll just grab one. <laughs> so we'll do something like that. And then maybe even higher. Yeah, we can do something like that too, which is this is kind of overkill now. Ooh, no, this is kind of overkill now. But you can see how we have something pretty cool. I'm going to grab that lamp back because that lamp is lighting our text. There we go. And there we go. All right, so there we go. That is our cheap and easy flare. We can turn down that. Uh, what you call it? There we go. Maybe scale it up just a little bit. All right. So that's that for today's tutorial. This one's a little overkill, but you get the idea. You don't have to do the emission uh, shader on the plane. You can just do the regular principle BSDF, and then you have the the lamp right there to give you that flare. And of course, you can also move this back and forth. Uh, no, if you grab the plane too, move it back and forth. Have it look pretty cool. Um, get a get a nice little place you want it. Then hit render. Boom. Have a couple of them. Shift D to duplicate. Awesome. I love it. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.